Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of The Planet Crafter. So, uh, ticked up a 0.2% since last time. Our oxygen's going a little bit faster now that we've put up all those trees from last episode. Uh, now, in our messages, we got this message from Riley quite a while ago. With uh, these coordinates. And when we put up our map information satellite or at least that's when i noticed it pop up quite a while back we got that little blue icon showed up and it's been there for quite a while so we are going to go and follow that and we're going to pick up the final three gold chests so we're going to head to the factory or at least the final three chests um, at this stage of development. I don't know if they'll add more or not. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Uh, just have a quick drink. So we're at the factory for reference. I do have teleporters closer, but uh, just for reference. So over here, this is a default start location. That little white blob right there where my crosshair is. That's the uh, default lander pod. So from here... We are going to head straight up that uh, little gap there. And we probably will need to wait until the ice melts get through here. Or at least to get through the cave that we're about to go through. So coming up here is going to get you through to the spires area. Which you can also get to... If you come through the aluminum fields down that way, or over there. But if we come down the left hand side here, there's a cave here. And this will be iced up at the start of the game. There's iridium and osmium here. It's not the main iridium cave. But it is an iridium cave. We can come through here. I'm not sure if that... Uh... Yeah, I don't know if that melts further and goes to another area but uh we're going to cruise straight through until we get through here and this brings us out into this sort of desolate kind of wasteland area and turning left as we come out of there we're going to head straight over into the the uh meteor meteor biome Straight through here and over to this little rocky outcrop here. Now I've set up a beacon here. So if I show you, I've set up a map screen here. This is where we are right here. If we zoom out. So it's actually a, um, shows up as being an osmium cave. There was osmium in there that we picked up. But uh, that's the starting location. So we came up through this little gap here and around to here. And this is the entrance to the mushroom cave. There is another entrance to the mushroom cave out here in between the waterfall and the crater. And uh, I'll show you that one on the way out. But uh, this is the mushroom cave. So it's easy to get yourself turned around and lost inside there. So I highly recommend putting up a beacon one or both exits so we're going to cruise straight down and we're going to follow the, the beacon that it's put there which will bring us into the middle of the cave and over to a big tree one of these big mushroom trees in the middle here a few little wooden platforms and stuff here and here we're going to find this warden's altar with some coordinates on it and this little thing hovering over it. We're going to click on that. That is a warden's key. We'll take that out. And then we're going to turn left and we're going to head over to the far corner over this way, the sort of southeast. This is where we came a 
few episodes back and collected a gold chest from here. So there was a gold crate right down here. We already got that one. But uh, today we're going to be grabbing three that you can't access until you do these uh, warden's keys. So up here we'll find a little uh, altar. And if we click on that and pop this key in there. And that will now be locked in there. And this doorway over here will start to open. So we wait for that to open up and it reveals this passageway. Okay, we'll cruise through and it brings us out into this big room of pillars. Get about halfway and there is a tablet. To read on either side so I'll let you pause and read that if you will and then we'll turn around and on the op opposite wall there's another one so I'll let you pause and read that one okay so now we come back into the middle where we came Came up through there, down here, and yeah, there's a doorway there, and there's a doorway over there. So we'll take this fork first, bring us into a little room with another pedestal with some some more coordinates on it, and a key. We'll take that key, come out here, and you know, if, if you read the uh, the tablets that we just read. We come out here, we can see a big spaceship here. So, from what I can figure, they were not trying to flee this or this uh, planet. They fled another planet and they came here. And they've hidden their ship here, is how I interpret that. Uh, we can't get to it. Now, in these warden areas, it's, it's worthy to note that our jet, jet pack does not work. So, don't jump off the edge. Um... Don't know if maybe in future episodes we may be able to get into that ship somehow. It looks like a sort of a passageway might go up that way somewhere. So I don't know if uh, when they update the game with more updates, maybe we might be able to explore that further. But at this stage we can't. That's all we can do of it. So we're going to head straight back uh, the way we came down through this passageway and now we're going to go out through the other exit so we'll cruise along here Just grab a sip of water while I'm next to water so we'll cruise along over here and straight up the hill here like I said if you put a beacon at, at each entrance it does make it a lot easier this platform won't be here but uh, here we are on the map right here okay so that's the waterfall that's the crater that's our starting location Okay, so we came up along here, through the caves, down here, out into here, along here, down there, and now we've come out here. So that's where we are there. Now, if I pop out here for a sec, and I turn around, that's the waterfall right there. Okay, so sort of directly in front of the waterfall, towards this big thing here, these big... Uh, tabletop things and that's we got another gold chest from that in a previous episode up on the on the end of that um but if you head from the waterfall straight towards that and find this little rocky place here you'll find the other entrance down here into the cave so 
we from here we are going to head back now to the factory just more for reference than anything else um okay so our starter pods down there from here we're going to cruise this way up towards the uh the battle cruiser past the iridium cave and we're going to head up to the super alloy cave and you're probably not going to have all these trees here we uh put a bunch of tree spreaders up along there in the last episode so you won't have those unless you put tree spreaders there too and we've still got to upgrade our drills had the uh the big drills unlocked for quite a while now we haven't done that yet so these pink purpley trees these are the ones from the trade rock so anyway we are here for the super alloy cave which is in here so for reference that's the battle cruiser there that's the maze over there and the other wreck that's in front of that and our home base is down there so in here is the super alloy cave and uh let's see i will pop in a map screen here and actually pop it in the teleporter which is handy so we are right here so there's a battle cruiser there's our home base let's see a iridium cave not the one that we went through down here the so we're on the sort of the opposite corner so we're right there is where we're at so as you come in you come in from here turn right follow this wall up through here turn right again sorry did i say and right let me just uh yes so we turn right and then we sort of veer left and turn right again we come through into this room and this pedestal i don't think this pedestal will actually appear until you've picked up a key but uh we'll pop our key in there and now this big door will open And this one opens pretty wide. It takes a little while to fully open, but you don't need to wait for it to open all the way. So we'll cruise through and follow these uh, obelisks all the way down. And in these warden areas, the uh, jetpack does not work. So we'll come to this passageway here. And we'll get to a fork. We'll take the left one first. Bring us into a little room. And we can grab another key. And. Alright. There is a storm going on outside. I'll just wait until that's over. Okay. So storm's over. Picked up our key. Go back the way we came. And now we'll take the other fork. This one's comes back through here a little bridge don't jump down there follow the obelisks all the way along and directly in front of us is going to be another little altar here with a key so grab that so that's two keys and now we're going to turn around to the left and we'll see a an open doorway there we go through there we will pop in here and you'll see a doorway there if you head towards that but then turn left again you'll see another door here and we'll pop around here there's a ramp up here onto the next floor okay there's a ramp right here go up here and here is the, uh, should be the 19th 
gold chest. So there's a new effigy. Terror tokens, we'll just add those to our total straight away. Grab that stuff. Okay. Back down this ramp. And there's another ramp over here. And we've got to jump across here. There's another tablet to read. I'll let you pause and read that if you wish. So this bit here is what makes me think that they came here. They were fleeing a different planet and they came here rather than they were trying to flee this planet. So, alright. Yeah, I can jump down there. That's fine. Down here. Back out the way we came. Back out here. Okay. Now we can go up here. Up these steps. Follow this around. Go up a ramp here. Up here. And you kind of got to edge a little bit to get up there. Careful not to fall off up here. And we'll keep following this around. And down. And around. And there's a passageway there. We'll come back to that. Here's another tablet. So I'll let you stop. Pause and read that if you wish. And the device that it's talking about is going to be through that passageway. We can't do anything with that. At least not at this stage of the game. Whether we will be able to have any interaction with that at a later date, I don't know. But down here, around here, here is a third key and more coordinates. So we're going to open that up and grab that key out. Okay. So, heading back the way we came and out of here. So back up here. We can go down this passage and there is just a weird sort of sphere just floating in the air there. We can't do anything with it. Careful not to fall off the bridge. Back out this way. And follow the path back around to get back down. Can't just jump straight down because uh, our jetpack is not available to us in here. And back out the way we came. So all the way just follow the uh, follow these obelisks back over this little bridge back through the long passageway back up all these flights of stairs And from this point, we've got our jetpack again. So back past here, back into the uh, into the cave, and back out again. And now we're going to turn left, and we're going to head in this direction over here. So this brings us to. I still have a map screen here, so a quick look at the map here. We are right there at this crash satellite. I featured this in my previous episode where I showed you all of the ship sites. So we are right there and we're heading up here. So keep going in this direction over here. I'm gonna head up up there.
I'm going to drink, have a bit of a fill up while we're next to water. There are frogs around here, we'll worry about them later. We're going to cruise straight up here. All the way up here. Straight up the top of this hill here. And up behind this uh, peak here, here is another altar. So if we have a look from where we are. There's that big sort of tabletop kind of rock there. And uh, our base is directly in that direction, straight across. So pretty much directly uh, east. So we are almost pretty much, well, kind of northwest, I guess, from, from our base. And uh, I will pop up a... A map screen just here so we can sort of see yeah we're not marked on the map because i don't have anything there but we are roughly in the center of the map right here so i think we're behind behind that rock there is where we're at so we'll click on here pop in all three of these and now this big mountain area is going to move down. It's going to quickly have something to eat. And we wait for this uh, big rock formation to open up. Now we have a passage through here. There's more of these obelisks. Let's follow them all the way down. And at this stage we lose lose our jetpack again. So the jetpack does not work in here. Got a little stream here. Follow the stream. Around about this point you will get the achievement for the uh, ancient paradise. So continue through here, just following the stream. There are frogs here. We'll come back for frogs later. Alright, so. From here. If we head straight forward from here. There's a pedestal here with a key on it. We can grab that. If we turn around. And we go over here around this side. There is another key right here. Okay. Now we're going to head over here. And we're going to climb up this side. And being careful not to go over the edge. You can also get stuck in some of those sections if you sort of fall down there. So you do need to watch your step. And uh, remembering that you can't use your jetpack. But it's a pretty clear path. Just follow it wherever it leads you. Up here. Continue all the way up that bit is a bit tricky you need to sort of jump a bit to get onto that all the way over here okay so that is three keys there are two more in here to collect oh that is a uh serena 1200 i'll grab that Okay, now you can also find butterfly lava, um, the golden butterfly lava in here. It's uh, pretty rare, but you can find them. So we're going to head down. 
we're not here for butterfly lava, but if I see one, I'll definitely grab it. Oops, almost fell off of that. And continue around. And I think it's safe to jump down this bit. Okay. So now up here. No, it's not up here. Alright. So now there is a pedestal up there, but that's where we put the keys in. So we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, we are going to head up here. And there's fourth key right here. We'll take that. And from here, we're going to continue. Uh, let me see. There, this way, so we'll see this staircase, we'll go the opposite direction of the staircase, follow this ramp all the way up and this goes quite a ways, and we're going to keep an eye out for a vine, so you will need to be in the tree stages, you have to have trees, um, available to you for this because we're looking for a vine and they don't grow until you're in the tree stage there's a vine there so click on that and you'll climb up okay, and you can click on it again to climb back down but uh, we turn around here and here is the fifth the fifth key okay so Going back the way we came, climb back down, and I uh, don't think there's any other easier way down, so we've just got to make our way back the way we came. Actually, I think there's a way down here. Okay. Can jump down onto those sort of square structures from here. Quite safely. Okay, so there we are. We come down here and it'll bring us back out to the middle, this big obelisk here, and big staircase leading up towards the dome there. Brings us up to another altar and another tablet. I'll let you read that, I won't bother pausing, it's not very long. So, we'll pop our five keys in there. And this one will open up. Okay, now that that's opened up, we can come all the way down this uh, hallway here. And here we go. The final two gold crates. Another message. I'll let you pause and read that one. So basically they got hit by a meteor. But, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm going to pop in a teleporter here. Alrighty. I'm going to pop in storage. It won't let me put a storage here. Okay. How much space do I have? Not a lot. Alrighty. Just 
quickly zoom out here. Actually, will it let me put a... Let me just try something here. Will it let me put a platform foundation? It will. Let me put one under it. That works. Let's uh, pop in a storage here. And that can go in there, that can go in there. That, 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 that. And we'll set that to supply. And if you just hold control and click on everything, I'm just going to pause while I do that. Okay, so I've set it to supply, to supply everything except for food and water. Um, you can put these in here, but do need to be careful with rare stuff. Sometimes if you save and reload while stuff's in transit, you can actually lose it. You can see that we've got drones coming to pick those up. They're not going to pick these up because our containers back home are full. Uh, we can't set it to pick up the microchips, the lermas, uh, or our effigies. Just going to have a drink. But, uh, okay, now we've got room. And we can loot these final two, two uh, gold crates. So there's another effigy. There is a golden butterfly lava, 1,500%. So... Uh, we'll add these terror tokens to our total, along with those. Take all those. That is chest number 20. Here is another golden blood butterfly lava. Take those terror tokens. Grab that stuff. And there we go. So that is all 21 chests. And we do have the 22nd, uh, let's see, 22nd effigy as well. So let's go back to our office. Can put these on here. Okay. So there we go. Uh, that is the warden areas. There is another warden's message in a different part of the map. Uh, we will go and check that out another time. Uh, but that is all the areas currently accessible with warden's keys that I'm aware of. Uh, so if you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.